Hey guys, Stephanie here from Escape and Paint. How is how are you today? Um, I am hoping to paint a truck without interruption. I think yesterday's broadcast was interrupted by a phone call from my husband, and he was in another city and it was like well is he just calling to say they're on their way home or is he calling to say hey i need you to load the car up and come pick me up um you need to bring the truck and huh, tow chains or something so anyway i thought i just would be better off to to exit gracefully and that's what i did okay so i think what i want to do i've done several of these trucks here and there um, I absolutely love them. I think they make a great little coffee table thing that you can make decorative or you can uh, put like wrapped candies in here. Um, someone said there's a Mod Podge that gives it a food safe finish. I don't know that there is one. I know that when we were doing woodwork, there is some stuff that you can put a polished wooden stuff with that would make it food safe. And so um, before I... I uh, seal this one with anything i think that's what i'm going to look into and see if there is a food safe one uh sealer and get it back to anyone who's interested um so that said i think i'm going to need to adjust the size of my face or just go to the other camera today because this is just in the wrong spot altogether even with me in it right it's just way up there. Is that better? Is that a little less obtrusive? Let's try it that way. I can always turn my face off. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, so usually what I do when I'm doing these is I use some watered down white, uh, black and I paint the whole thing. I think that might be a crack. No? Maybe not. No, I think that's just an odd discoloration in that bisque. Okay, but I want to do a yellow truck this time rather than one of the red or uh, a darker color like I've done in the past because I believe I did a blue um, and I know I've done. So I think what I want to do is a yellow truck. Who Should I do yellow or teal? I need those of you on with me now to vote for yellow or teal. Because I could do a yellow or teal. Hang on, let me ask Zoe. Zoe, come here. Yes. Yellow or teal for the truck? Mm. Ask yellow. Or Tori. Tori, yellow or teal for the truck? Just painting a ceramic truck. Hey. Yellow or teal for the ceramic truck? Teal. Teal, it is. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't really All right. Sure. All right. So Zoe and her was chatting with her buddy and um okay so all right so where are I am live just so you know they're on the table behind you the big right oh yeah they're there the big ones okay uh slide the whole box out from under the table it would be this Okay. All right, we got something big coming that we're fixing to get to paint. We're going to paint with some friends of ours uh, that live in Georgia. So what we're going to do is we're going to like Zoom call and, and, and share that to the page. But it is a giant... Hey, Zoe, bring it here. You got it out, so I got to show everybody. Don't listen to what you're doing. No. You're busy talking and you got it out. So this is our dragon lantern. Okay, hang on, let me put it up like this so you can see it. It's a dragon and it's a lantern. It's got the, the light bulb and the light fixture okay, plug and everything it. for that. And then put yeah. it back before something happens. Yes, yes, please and thank you. You know me. I'm a warrior. Well, since we're doing this teal, and I think it'll be fine with the black. So I think what I'm gonna do. Okay. I did not get a very full bottle of black. So we're going to just go ahead and put some black in here. And I'm going to 
water it down a little bit. Do I want that brush? Or do I want a wider one? I think I do want a slightly wider one. And I am going to get some water in my brush. And I'm going to come over here and tap just a little bit of it. Just kind of water it down for the windshield. I want to be able to do like a tinted window type look. Ooh, that's a lot thinner than I usually get it. That's okay. I can always go over it. Okay. Okay, so, whoop, I gotta put that back down so you guys can see. See, I'm just taking, normally I would take a little bit of water and water the whole water and cover the whole thing when it's a darker color. You know what? I think I'm going to do it anyway, just because I just feel better if I do it my normal way. How's that? So I covered the whole thing in black. So we have just this light back. But I do it with a little bit watered down so that there's not streaks as bad. There's not as much. Um... Oh, the texture that comes with using a thicker paint that causes it to look globby in certain styles, the thickness of it, you don't want it to be like really thick in, certain, in the wrong direction on this, but to get it into certain areas, you have to have it a little bit thicker. So I add a little bit of water and thin it down a lot. As y'all get on, if you don't mind saying hey and let me know who's watching so I can talk to you and ask you about what's going on with you, I would love to chit chat with you. Um, I was going to do a yellow Easter truck, but, but Zoe and Tori think I need to do a cool teal one. So, See, I like the teal ones too. They're, they're happy little colors. If I remember correctly, teal is a food allergy color, like alert type color. And our friend Tori has some food allergies. So I would love to do one like that. But anyway, so Tori and Zoe and Tori's mom, Anna, and I are going to be online painting that when those dragons get arrive in Georgia. I sent some dragons to Georgia, I think. With us. We're, we're all so excited about it. And Anna's like, can I pour on that? Because she loves to do paint pouring. So it'll be fun to see whose comes out which way and what they all come out as. Okay, I'm going to grab just a little more water in here. I don't want to thin the whole thing down just loads and loads. Like I said, I want it to just kind of help with some of the streakage in certain areas. But we are going over absolutely all of it. I grabbed a smaller brush because I was thinking I was just going to do the windows and stuff. So I think I'm going to put that down in there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and knock the black out of it so it can be drying. Make sure all the black is out of it. I'm going to grab me a slightly bigger brush. And I'm going to set that one there so it can be working on drawing out. We're just covering everything. Now, I do still try to do directional. That way, if there is any streaking in it, that it goes the way, like the, the middle of the door goes this way. You wouldn't have weird streaks going up and down it. So, it is my goal to have it be where, okay, that's getting a little thick.
typically, like I said, I just put a little base coat on here of this. Yeah, I have heard of people, and I haven't done it myself, that take some black acrylic paint and pour it in a bucket. And then they dip their ceramic in the bucket with the black paint or whatever in there. And that allows it to give it a nice even coverage all over it. And then you can paint your colors accordingly. Oh man. I just got some crazy ideas. I've been wanting to try some of that hydro dipping stuff. Well, I have some coasters. I may hydro dip the coasters. I have one set of coasters left. I may hydro dip the coasters. But bisque is what you call the fired but unfinished ceramics like the little teacups that I bought at Walmart the other day so that Zoe and I could do some little teacups. They have they have really to make them food safe you need to do the glaze and fire them. I'm not planning on making it food safe. I'm making these completely decorative. So I bought the, the cheap ones from Walmart with paints with every intention of it being just a decorative piece. No intention of ever drinking out of those, those little ceramic cups at all, ever. Um, and there is a hole in the bottom of these. Now these are the... These are from one company and I haven't bought the truck, this type of truck, just the truck by itself from the other company that I buy from yet. I like the insides of these a little bit. From what I've seen, I prefer this style. Let's put it that way. I like their trucks. They look really cute. But this bed is open all the way up to the front on their trucks and I don't like that. So I bought, I had whenever I bought, I, I had got approved with this company first. So I purchased from them and then I kind of fell in love with this truck. It's kind of cute. I made one for my dad for Christmas. Oh, that reminds me. He sent me home with a gift that I'd made him before to paint the other side, and I need to get it ready. I'm going back that direction soon, so. Oh, hang on, I need more water. Now, a lot of times I'll just have the black in the, in, at a paint party, I'll have the black on a plate, and it'll be kind of soupy for multiple people to be pulling from, just so we can just roll you don't have to worry about coming back and remembering to get it wet. But since it's just me, and I keep lifting this way out of the wrong spot. Okay. This will give it some of that rustic, if you do wipe off any of that other color, it adds to that rustic appearance. Okay. Okay, so maybe I have my camera in completely the wrong place today. I'm trying to figure out how to paint where you can see. <laughs> okay. Because it's not so easy to paint when you're going over this piece and I don't have the camera in a different spot. So, what is everyone doing for their Saturday afternoon? We ran a few errands. And Philip did some massive yard work this morning. 
And now he's back there working on his sermon some more for tomorrow morning. Okay. I don't need it to be super dark black. I just want it to have a fairly even coat. So I'm wanting to get in all these little nooks and crannies like under that fin like under this fender well right here. But I just only got that. I typically go all the way around my tires. This is where I think if you wanted to dip it in the water with the paint in it and get an even coat on it, leave it to sit to dry. Like you could batch if you had more than one that you were doing to get ready. But you could do that. And then uh, that, that might be kind of a fun thing to, to do. Yeah, turn that back over and set it down for just a second so I can screw this up a little bit. Gotta hold this plate down. I got the plate because it's kind of got the lifted sides on it just a little bit. And uh, of my two other uh, possible. Okay, I'm gonna do this so I can lift it a little bit higher. See how under here in this fender, if you're not careful, you could go around the tire and miss the inside of the fender. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and give it all just this nice little thin black line. I do the underside of mine. I, I don't think you would have to, especially not if you're not worry about somebody picking it up I mean because it's the bottom of it so it's not like it's an important I just I'm thorough like that and I like the way it looks whenever you pick it up and the tires are, are black all the way around and not just to the ground but that's me okay let me that black looks awfully thick or shiny or something there Okay, let's see in this corner it looks like it's drying a little bit of thin right there. I just want to make sure that I've got it. You know, it probably won't be visible. Okay, no. And it probably won't be a big deal. But I'd much rather it be not a big deal, and I know it's not a big deal because. I've made sure it's well covered. Okay. All right. Now, if you're local to me and you want a truck kit, y'all let me know. I do have them available. I have a few available without having to order any more right now. So if you wanted to do a truck and you're local to me or we know how to meet somewhere in the middle, then we can. I would love to meet up with you and get you an art kit and visit for a few minutes if that's what you would like. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I almost always do my inside of the truck and I typically will leave it black. Not always. But it makes me think of a, a truck that has a spray liner in it in the back of it. So I will typically leave it black. I uh, 
I've met a few people that wanted it gray, the silver, like they had the diamondback stuff on it. And I have done some trucks that had that around the edges. Like, uh, I've seen some trucks. I've owned a truck or two like that in times past. All right. I did really good. I got really close to exactly what I would need. And not too crazy overboard. Again, I'm mixing in some water with this just to make sure it's nice and smooth on the the undercoating. I don't want it to be really thick and have streaks that show globs of paint. There's times when your paint is a little thick on your brush and you don't mind it. This is one of those times where we mind. We don't want it to be really thick. I'm going to gently lay it on my towel here and turn it over because like I said, I like to do the whole underside of mine. Get my tires and everything so that you should not see noticeably any part of any tires not done. Somebody was asking what color the underside of a vehicle typically is so that they could color theirs the right color. And I said, it's usually just dark under there. A lot of black or a lot of dark where you got your shadows and your shades and there's some gray and from the parts for your motor, but typically it's just dark. So I just do the dark. And I don't worry about any of the rest of it. Or it's multicolored because you've got all the different parts and the different bits and stuff. Okay. If you're just joining me, if you don't mind saying hi in the comments and telling me hello, I would really love to talk to you. Absolutely love to talk to you. All right, let me see if I can get this up without getting my fingers too messy dirty. And see right, right here, that is not light. That is actual slightly missed where the brush didn't hit it. Spots. So. I'm kind of double checking because I thought I saw one over here. All right. All right. So now I'm going to rinse all of that black out of my brush. But for the most part, it's going to be a decent little coating of black all the way around. I need me a lazy Susan. I bought me a cake plate, a cake turner, but I think it lifts me up too, too high. If I was to try and set anything on it and actually do anything other than my paint pours. All right, so. Because so much of it is going to be this color, I'm going to start with my teal. And if you want it, if you need a second coat, don't be, don't hesitate to put a second coat. I frequently will do two thinner coats. unless you're looking for a more antique look because then you want it to be a little like the paint starting to be seen through which is why one reason we were putting some of the black underneath there because you might want it to be thinner and a little more see-through there 
I'm just trying to rub up to that edge and let the natural edge of this, this surface there kind of catch some of our curve. What is that? Okay. So I try to do my my roof all the way across here, coming back and forth this way, so that I can minimize any streaks in the paint that might be coming the other way. I get a little bit on my chisel edge, and I come down this front edge of the window, kind of from the side, and I try to go kind of around. The edge so that it sticks out and catches that front edge but it doesn't do catch the front window I have a preference for my windows to look like they're the tinted darker windows because we can put white we can give it some shine and sheen and then it just looks like it's dark compared to the rest of the vehicle but you can also do them in a lighter color. I've seen uh, a few friends that do it with a really, really light blue, and it looks like it's just a sunshiny, sun shining in that window, and it looks so cute. I might be brave and do one of those prep windows sometime soon. Now, I plan to go back and hit some of this with a silver for my, around the, the window on the door. I'll hit the door handle for sure. Dog's not even in here and leaving her hair everywhere today. Oh well. Okay. And again, I try to go with the body of the truck and how I think that the paint's going to go. I try to stop where there's going to be kind of a, so that there's not any rough paint in weird places rough stops and starts and I try to work as quickly as I can now this is kind of slow because I'm trying to do it at a, a weird angle so that you guys can see what I'm doing and it's neat for me to see when other people do these because they may do it different than I do like I do the front grill kind of strange compared to some people that I know but it's like to me it just makes it Okay, I'm going to catch this bumper and I'll go back over those tires with the black in a minute. Because I want to give them a nice thick black on there anyway. So, I just make sure I'm getting the bottom of my fender really well. this door and bringing it up you can hit this step if you want to I plan to hit mine with some silver afterwards so I'm not stressing whether I get the bottom step but I do want to get this underside of this door really well so I am sliding it down there because I do want it to hit it well So if you had a truck, leave me a comment and tell me what color you would do. What color would you paint your truck? I had the girls help me decide because I was debating this teal. This really light teal or the, the yellow. I've got some darker ones. 
that we've done. I've got a red one that I've done. Actually, I've got a couple of trucks that I've put in to be sold. How's that? I put up for sale. And I do offer that as a service if somebody wants one painted for them and have it, have something put on it, let me know and I'll get you some pricing on that. And now remember around these back fenders, you've got some light, so I'm trying to avoid too much. And I'm going to have to go back over again, but if I have to, I'd rather go over it and have it be the same base coat color, same color all the way around it, than have it be half lighter, half darker because of the black and then the, the base coat, the color of the vehicle. I think these lights are going to show up a little better than on, they do on the red truck because tail lights are typically red. All right, so far, so good. And this looks pale blue, almost the color that my, um, to me on my screen right now. So I'm hoping it will look teal to y'all. All right, so I'm gonna turn it around. And I'm putting my finger in that hole that's in the bottom to help me hold on to it. And I'm checking that I've got this front fender really well, which I did not. And I'm checking back here. I just got it on that back window. Oh well. Well. I'm thinking I might do a shiny blue one in there. <laughs> I'm just. This is not a good angle to try and paint. To actually paint them. Although y'all get to see a little better, I can't see what I'm doing. Make sure that, okay, I didn't get the foot one on the other side, but it's because I was, didn't care if I get the foot one or not. I just wanted to make sure I got the bottom side of that door really good. And if you look, there's a thin streak in there right now. And I think I've got where that black was still just a little damp. And I'm hitting that with my brush. Hello, love. Hello. Is it just the screen that makes it look the wrong color? Or do you know? I think so because this makes it look a little lighter, but I think it's just that screen where we got the brightness setting. Okay. Because I was just like, I keep talking about a teal truck, and I look at that that picture, and I'm like, uh, that don't look teal to me. Uh, yes, it looks baby blue, and I'm like, um, yeah, they're gonna think I'm colorblind. Okay, try and take and smooth across our door and smooth up here. I 
again, see where it's black underneath there? We're going to try and catch the edge of our fender. Again, I'm going to take a liner brush and hit the, the tire. Going over that with the black is not a big deal, but going over the lighter colors, going from a lighter color to a darker color, going from the darker to trying to cover it with the lighter takes a lot more work. All right. Probably happen to have to fix having to need to switch brushes here in just a minute. Typically, we use my bigger flat one as long as I can. To get as much coverage as quickly as we can but as I said we may end up needing a second coat but I'm kind of liking it because I like how it looks antique I don't want it to look like it's a brand new just off the line truck myself well, that's why I put the black underneath it it kind of helps to age it just a little bit You know what I think I'm going to do that glass, that light blue like I did in the back, since I got, got it on the back too, so why don't we just go ahead and cover the whole thing. That way the glass would be the same color. Is that out of my ferrule? Or is that? I think that may be out of my ferrule. It is not what I wanted to see on my roof of my car truck my truck my truck it's a truck okay so i keep having some dark streaks show up and these you can see the streaks in there i'm gonna leave them i don't i think that just kind of adds to some of the the age of the truck it ages it a little bit so now i'm going to come back to the back over here where i can still use my big one I'm going to be hitting over here, kind of smoothing it around or out around this door and hitting that underside again one more time. Smoothing around that corner and then taking it on down. Hit this last fender really good underneath. I'm gonna come under here and grab this to make sure we got these corners. I'm gonna attempt to avoid hitting the bumper in real life. Come in from this angle. Get a little of that excess out of my brush up there and then kind of slide it down underneath there. And I've got to switch brushes because that one's too big. And I've got some little places that need hitting right around that light. And at this end, doing that same Drive stuff. Coming in right here around this light, right at the right at the bumper. That light. Gotta add a little more. 
because we haven't got the bumper done yet and we've got still got some work to do in the front. He's on the front porch and it startled me for a second. He went out of the back door and I heard him go out, but I didn't. I don't know. I don't guess I was expecting him to come to the front porch, which is right outside the window beside me, and that just kind of threw me off for a minute. I like that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay. I'm going to hit the windows over here just because. If I'm going to do the windows, I want the shading to be right. And if they've got this color behind them on the front and back, then they'll have it. Then they would typically have the same glass all through the vehicle. So let's grab this little window right past. And I'm going to do, like I said, a really light blue, like it's the light shining on it. How's that? Instead of my typical black ones. Now, to hit this grill, I am going to avoid these lines right here and right here and around the lights if I can possibly do it. I have a preference for them to have the silver up close to them, the silver on them, with the black underneath them as best as I possibly can, just because you can then scuff it up a little bit with the, with the wet wipe right after you. Get the silver on there and it looks kind of aged. And Zoe's fixing to have to come get this dog. She hears me in here talking and I'm the only one in the house she can get to. And she's going to come bark at me. I'm not real careful. Hey Maggie, you feeling unloved? Nobody taking you out enough times today for your happiness. making sure that wasn't a timer that I had set and missed. And I was like, well, did I set a timer and forget about it? I've been known to do that. That's the whole reason I set timers. So, anyway. Okay, I'm trying to do this where you guys can see it, but it's not working just real well. This is one of those that you got to get the Thin little brush in there. And around it. Alright. So while that's drying for just a second, I'm going to scoot it over and rinse my brushes out really well. 
because I really, really, really want. Little cornmeal. I want that black out of that big one so that I can do some. Don't have to worry about it dripping in the streaking out when we don't want it to streak out. Okay. Oh, cool. My watch was showing me some pictures. I have my favorites photo album in there and I have some pictures where we've painted from some of my paint party classes and one of them was some ladies trucks the first trucks that i taught somebody to do and it was really cute some of my favorite let me grab that light blue while i'm thinking about it okay let me message so we really fast would you please come get Maggie? She's barking and I'm all still live. There we go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Well, I mean, that's at least one I can handle that away instead of having to get up and just suddenly abandon everybody in the middle of a live. Maggie, now, come here. Which I've had to do before. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and hit, oh, I'm going to get the paint boogers out before I get started. I'm going to put them to the, put some of this Indian turquoise blue. It's a very, very light blue. I love it. So that's the one I'm going to use, the Indian turquoise. Okay, I don't think you can tell much difference in them, but there is a little bit. This puddle right here is what I'm going to do for the windows and this is what I did the truck in. Okay, hang on one second. I'm dying to know if this looks as off color as I think it does because if that's the case then I'm going to have to do something different because it's going to make me crazy. Okay. There I'm at. Let me see. Um... The truck still looks a little blue. It still looks a little more blue than it actually is, but it's not as bad as it could be. Okay. Let me see. Let me hold those up again. I'm waiting on it to catch up. This is the blue that I'm going to put on the windows. This is the green blue. It's a teal, but it's a very pale teal. It's a very light blue teal. Um, and I'm actually going to get a slightly smaller one. I have one. It is a 10. Do I want my 8? Do I have an 8? do have an 8. 8 flat. So I want it small to be able to fit into these areas. So I'm going to attempt to do this this way. I set it down in there, and I'm just going to smooth it across. There will not be a lot of difference in this one and the color, so what I'll probably do is just go back through with a little, little thin black liner, liner brush, or if you have a, sh a marker, you can use your paint marker to line it. All right, I've got a pretty smooth, and again, for this one, I'm going back and forth. I want the, the sheen of it to be very, 
think you can tell there's a slight difference in the colors there. And I think what I'm going to do is go around it, like I said, with the black. So let's look at this window over here. All right. And the trick is to look where you're going and not where you've been as best you can. It's really hard where I'm going some directions because the brush or my hand get us, gets in the way of where I'm going. If that makes sense as you're going certain directions when you're when you're going along and pulling it along, if you're pulling in a direction where your hand is going to get in the way of where you're going, it's like, I just got to see it in my eye so that I can do it. Okay, now let's do this other one. Sticking my finger in the hole there to help me hang on to it a little bit. Okay, can you guys see? Alright, there I got it. Now this one in the back, if I don't put my thumb in the front, will be great. And that will have all of these windows done. Now you could probably make your back window a little bigger if you wanted to. If you paint everything around it right, it will just have a slight indent here in this one little spot. So if you wanted the rear view, the back glass on this truck to be just a little bit bigger, you could actually paint a little further over this way or a little further over that way. It would just have that dent in there where it's at, right where it's at. I'm going to let that dry really good before I go over it with the black around the edge. And I have this one little spot over here at the edge on this door where I guess I stuck my finger. Because it looks like it's a fingerprint and some black around the door. There we go. All right. Had a little drip of paint there at the edge. Trying to catch. Go. Alrighty now. We're going to before it gets messed up, I'm gonna save some of this. I got way too much out. And I don't like to waste. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the bumpers and the steps, the side steps. And I've got my metallic silver, shimmering silver. And I've got a smaller brush. And I'm trying to make sure this hand is really clean because I don't want to get transfer stuff back to any of it. This bottom step to have as much black on it as I can because then it looks, you can, it, you can see through some of the silver and it looks kind of rougher. 
but my brush was not cooperating with me to make it super thin and still to have black down on the bottom and, and still get the, the door coated like I wanted. So I'm just going to grab a little smear of the gray, of the black, and kind of rub it in with some of the gray as I'm putting it on, some of the silver. dot of wet black and I'm just kind of rubbing it in there with some of our silver. We can always come back and add a little more in a minute. What I tend to do for aging on mine, I tend to let it dry. I put some watered down black. Take my plate that has the watered down black on it. And I dip a baby wipe in it. And then I'll very gently, I'll pounce it out a little bit even and offload it a little bit. And then I'll take and I'll gently rub where I want a little little shine of the darker undercoating showing through. Okay. Catching around that edge of those steps. Then I'm going to hit our rear bump bumper while that side is drying. And again, this is not the easiest way to do it. Let me hold it in an odd angle by sharing like this. Ah. And I'll probably bring it all the way across, just that little bit in. And so that the bumper's all the way across there. And I'm going to take my liner brush and dip it in just that teeniest bit of the teal. And I'm going to bring it right back across the top here where the brush went just a little over where I wanted it to and tidy up that bumper just a little bit. Okay. Well, let's see if that side's dry enough for me to paint on this yet. I think because I didn't come back and hit this bumper with the color that you might be able to see what I was talking about. But this one's looking a little more aged. If you know where to look anyway. And maybe not because this shimmer adds so much to it with the, the being metallic. It kind of Add some dimensional effects of its own to it. Okay. If you look, see how it's kind of a, got that darker gray right in there rather than up there where it's a little thicker? That's where with the black, it, it kind of gives it some of that natural uh, aged scuffing look. Because when you're looking at an older type truck and looking at the shape of this truck, it's not one that you find coming off the, the, the racks now at the, at the dealerships. So 
it's an older truck. So somebody either kept it in pristine condition and has a new paint job put on it ever so many years, or it's going to be a little antique and have a few little scuffs and rough spots to it. And like I did on the other side, I'm just going to kind of gently bring that on down this side just so that I know that it's wrapped all the way around that step because this step looked like it was part way down here not done all right so we got that side got bumper got that side let me make sure my hand didn't take any off it doesn't look like I did I am going to grab this brush I did get some silver on the bottom of that door. I figured I probably would. And the angle it was at, I couldn't see it. So, there we go. I got it off. All right, now we're going to do the fun, fun and difficult part. Okay, wait, I just stuck my finger in that one. All right. Okay. I'm going to set this end back here down on the table, and I'm going to hit this, this bumper to say the least. we got to get the front bumper. All right, let me hit the, I got to hold this at an angle I can see it, y'all. I apologize for not being able to hold it where y'all can see it. I'm trying. Can y'all see that difference, maybe? Okay, so we've got our front done. Now we're going to hit this front of the grill of the truck and I'm going to intentionally not be super thick and super heavy with the, the paint here I kind of want it to bleed through a little more and show some of the age of the truck up here Okay, let's see. Set that brush down for just a second, and I'm going to hit the teal truck color with this real quick around this edge. Now, I like to hit around my light containers with either a silver or a black. I like the silver because everything, a lot of things were chrome back then around the edges and for holders and things like that. So frequently your lights would be in a silver case 
and I'm going to get, okay, I got silver on that one. I got to get wiped off. I'm going to get my little liner brush wherever it rolled off to. And I'm going to grab me some silver. Okay, and I tilted a little further so I can see this because I can tell there's a little spot here that I'm not getting, but I want to make sure I've gotten. Okay, see, I'm getting, giving him some silver around the headlights. All right, ah. I can't see what I want to see to get to it right. Okay, so I'm just taking my liner brush, and I'm not got a real long one. I've got one of my shorter liner brushes, just so y'all know. It's not a script brush, it's a liner. I think the script ones are a little bit longer, which I love them for what I want them for when I want them, but this is not when I want one of the extra long. Okay, I got to turn it this way so I can see it and not get cross-eyed and get dizzy. Because trying to look over it from this close up, yes, I'm that age. I should probably be wearing readers to do this. But I don't have any readers handy, so... All right, I'm going to hit tap that little bit of teal on the tip of this again. And I'm going to hit that one little edge there. But I didn't particularly care for how it looked. It's not, it's really not noticeable. Except to me. But because I can see it, I want to fix it. All right, so we have our headlights outlined. Now, let's make sure this is still good. That side's still good. No fingers on anything. The back is good. I need to do these little light holders as well. So... Okay, I'm going to slide it this way so that maybe I can see this a little bit better. I love all the little details that we get to add. It's frustrating not being able to hold it the way I want it to show y'all. And I'm getting over that. I'm learning to see. 
be at a slightly different angle, slightly different view. All right, so we've got the rear light holders, the front headlights ready to roll. So I typically do silver around here, but I don't think I want to today. I'm doing them a little different than my quote typical truck. So let's do several things different. Okay, so while our silver is finishing up drying, I'm going to hit the inside of the back of the truck with just a little bit of black to make it a little bit thicker. And where my green, as it was coming around, got a little messy on the inside edge here. If you pour, pull gently straight up, it tends to just hit right where it needs to hit. And not over the side that was old stuff so it's got a black dot there that I'll have to hit in a minute and fix if you're pulling it straight up at that edge and you're not pushing too hard now it's if you're pushing it'll push it on over that edge and then it will Say hi as you come in so I can know who I'm talking to. Would love to chat with you. Everybody's been quiet. Everybody that's come in and whatnot has been very quiet today. I'm painting a ceramic truck to hold some of my cute little Easter eggs that I did now. My ginormous ones are not going to fit in here. Although, Philip laughed and said, I think it'll look perfect in that one. Talking about the one that my friend Tammy was calling my ostrich egg. Um, my really, really big one. Okay. If you do get it on the edge, you can always just kind of wipe it with your finger, thin it out a little bit, and then you'll go over it in a minute with the our color. Because I did have a couple of spots where I think I fingered it black fingerprints on it is what I was trying to say. Fingerprint mess on it. Where I was holding it when it was wet and it was making a bigger mess than I wanted it to. All right. So I'm hitting the sides of this, all of it with just a nice even coat of black. And I'm going to rinse this off. Let me get some teal and I'm going to go over this top rail. You could do the silver if you wanted it to look like maybe there's the diamond plating on the back of the truck around the, the trim here. My grandfather had a truck with that. I had a truck like that. That, that's the one my son took with him to Missouri when he went in a couple of years ago. He moved to Missouri for a little while. He took our big truck. All right, if you've got any thin spots that you don't like the way the paint lay, because I've got a couple of thinner spots that I didn't mind being thinner, I just didn't like the angle of the, the paint on it. It was going opposite the direction I wanted it to look. So instead of it going with the curve of the, the fender here, it was going out a different direction so I did not like that so I was trying to catch some of that while I've still got just a little bit of paint here 
and I want it to be able to dry before I mess too much. Okay, so I'm going to get a little more black and we're going to hit the wheels in a minute. Since the top is good and dry. I'm going to scoot these to the side. And I'm going to lean it. Nope, I'm not going to lean it on that. It's not wanting to lean on that. All right. I'll have it here. You know what? Flat cover, so. I'm not worried about rinsing the paint out this time because the teal is going to get covered by the black. And it really won't make that big a difference. I'm going to come in and hit. Okay, can you see that tire? I'm going to come in and hit really close. But I'm going to avoid Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice smooth down, making sure we're evenly coated front and back there. Hit the inside of that tire that I didn't catch. All right, now we're moving to the front tires. The front tires on this one are kicked out like it's turning. Uh, it's funny, it always, I always think of the cars when they're turning on the dirt. Turn right to go left. And it just being so funny to me, and it just, it almost always, always I keep telling myself I'm going to paint one of these like Mater just for the fun of painting it and it looking like major but i haven't done one yet doesn't mean i won't ever just means i haven't done one yet oh steph when will you learn When you go anywhere near the wet black paint with your other brush, it's going to collect some wet black paint and do little bitty streaks all over everywhere. All right. I think we've actually got that one kind of fixed right now. I don't see. Do y'all see? Do you see how under the fender still looks the right color? Or mostly looks the right color. Let's see if we can hit that and not smear it. I think we got it. We did. Yay! I'll flatten this black out and get it on the chisel a little bit better and I'm going to hit the edge of this. There. I think that looks just a little bit better. Alright, so now we're going to go check the wheels on the other side. Because I know for a fact that one of them at the front got a little bit of green on it. Just a little bit, huh? He said, just a little bit, Steph. And I'm like, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> He'd be all right. All right. And I'm going to chisel this one as best I can get it to chisel. And I'm going to hit this edge right here. Get right around the edge of this bumper where I want it.
There's a little bit of silver smear right there. I guess I stuck my finger in it. There we go. All right, now back to the black. Back to rescuing the black. So I try to flatten the edge as best I can. That's putting it on the chisel. And then I lay it against the tire so that hopefully it's not going up too much into that fender area. I'm getting the underside of my fender. We don't want it on the on the fender. We want it right next to it. I just hit the edge of the fender right where I don't want it to. Okay. All right, now I'm going to cover the whole tire. Sorry, I had to get it at an angle where I could see it, so I'm going to have to figure out a different camera angle for you guys to be at whenever I'm having to do those. A different angle I could maybe switch to or something like that so that y'all can see that better because whoops thought I had that muted it's 6 30 all right so I'm going to come back here and hit actually before I do that I'm going to get just another drop of the teal because I prefer like I said to wrap my colors all the way around on my truck so right here by this front bumper front tire and everything I need it to come down just a little bit further because it's not right there and it I can't decide if it hits the edge of it or not so under that edge right there it was like I can't decide if it's really right at that bottom part or if it's up higher so I am going to slowly and gently go around that edge. Okay, I'm going to hit it one more time. I don't think I got it. All right, I'm going to hit the tire. We, we don't want it to have that light. Well, it can have new tires if that makes sense. Everybody has to put new tires on their truck every now and again, right? But we didn't want it looking like it was messy. There we go. Smooth it all out. There's some different rings. You've got some rings for like a white wall tire if you wanted to do a white wall on there. All right. Now, while the black is out, I'm going to rinse these brushes out. And before I get any more paints out and in my way, or I feel like they're in my way, well, I still got the black out. Well, I still got some silver ready. I'm going to hit a couple of things. While the tires are drying, I'm going to come up and hit this window. As I said earlier, I like to have it. I'm going to put a little bit of a black outline. Oh, hang on. This needed just a touch. Seemed like some black got on that brush and it was too rough right over there. There wasn't quite enough. Like 
I just barely scraped any paint on it. We want more paint than that on there. All right. I'm going to get my liner brush. I'm going to get a very sharp tip on it. And I'm going to go right around this outer edge here. So the inner edge, the inner lip right there. Now I'm going to get some more paint. I don't want too much. I'd rather make several shorter strokes than come back because I got a big old blob that's messing me up. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm going to come over here. Kind of rolling it, trying to get, squeeze some of the excess out, but have enough in there to actually do the job. And now it's getting big and fat. Now it's trying to get big and fat on me. Now, if I'd left my windows black, I would still be going over this, just kind of hitting the edges of it. I would probably hit it with a silver around the edges. That one spot and I are just not getting along today, are we? All right, well, I think that's got the front window. Now we can hit the back end. Again, I'm taking and I'm rolling it. Gliding along there. If you can look at where you're going and not where you're at, it's so much better. You don't put loads of pressure on there. If you look, my pinky is resting on the edge of the... I'm trying to get this where y'all can see too. The angle I'm at, I just put way more pressure on there than I wanted. Typically, I'm holding this at a different angle. So this goes a little bit easier. But because I'm trying to show y'all but we're just going to roll with it and it's going to be okay and there's that one now I'm going to put chrome hardware on here because I've got chrome here. And I've got chrome at the front to hold the headlights and chrome at the back to hold the tail lights. So it just makes sense to me to put uh, chrome here. Because I'm gonna have a chrome handle on the door, I would likely have a chrome coated piece up here. So I think what I'm gonna do is do a thin outline of black around the window on the inside of it. And then maybe do a, do that centerpiece or around the door. With the silver. And giving it that chrome look.
Okay. I'll turn around. We're going to hit this window right fast. Again, very gentle pressure. Trying to rest my pinky on the roof. And I am struggling to hold on to it and do a pretty line because I am holding it so you can see it and not where I would typically hold it. If I were working like I normally work, it would be in my lap. like up here where I could grab it much, much easier. Okay, I just put a big piece of silver on the door with my thumb. So I don't know if I've got it on the handle of my brush. Where we need to hit that right fast. One thing I love about these trucks is that they can be so totally and completely personalized. Um, putting names, putting logos, putting uh, cities you visited. If I mean, um, I've got some of these that I think I'm going to get back from the guy and maybe put Jefferson on them. Because he's selling them at an antique shop in Jefferson for me. So I think what I'm going to do is get them back. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I'm just putting silver everywhere it don't go. That's what I'm doing. Like I have a clue. Y'all, some days I wonder. Alright, I'm going to put that back over there. And we are so close to done. While I have the silver. Okay, this is really going to get old fast. Come on, guys. I don't know where I keep touching silver at. But I keep getting it all over everything. Maybe that. Alright, so I'm going to roll it in the silver. And I'm going to run it right up here between these windows roll it in the silver now do I outline the whole thing in silver too? Yeah, I think I will. Just to kind of tie the whole window seal thing together. Okay. I have to come back and hit that edge with the silver and the black in a minute. Lifting my hand up. I was just say doing this where others can see it painted. See you paint actually doing each step is not as easy as it sounds. on a camera. <laughs> okay, since I'm already here, while it's still fresh on my mind, I'm going to grab that black. Tap that black again. And pull it straight across here. And up there. I like how that window looks finished a little bit. I may go back on the front and back window and put a little silver on there. I don't know. Got to get the black out of that. And then we're going to hit the silver. And then we're going to hit the tires with a little bit of silver as well.
Just taking my brush and making sure I've got that center piece hit really well. I'm going to come across here. I'm not worried about how badly I cover the, some of the black. I want to leave a little of it at least. But I would like for it to be fairly good there. All right. I want to be able to let these tires finish running. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit, I'll hit the front one first. You can't even see that. I got it way too far forward. Sorry. I'm trying to get it in the view and I went too far forward. There is a rim area right here that you could hit with the white. I think that's what I meant to do. I think I meant to do this silver. Okay, I'm going to hit this with silver. Let me grab... this one you know me being the only one doing this right now it seems like it's a pretty boring and not very fun thing to do I do like when I have a friend painting with me we typically have a lot of fun doing it so Zoe does a pretty good job on the truck, too, when she decides to do one. All right, so I've got my tires on this side. I'm going white, to whitewash them in a minute. Whitewash them. Doing my inner hubcaps. I do the hubcaps. Oh, I don't think you can even see it. Never mind. Hug. I keep putting it in the. All right. So. Let me see if that will work and make it where I'm less in front of things. All right. This tire looks like it has something on it. Yep. At the end, I'm going to go ahead and hit those blacks again one more time. While I've got silver on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and hit this window. I think I've decided I want it to have a little bit of a silver frame. keep forgetting to ask everybody when they come in if they would mention in the comments what color would you paint your truck if you had a truck and you were going to paint it what color would you paint it and would you write something special on the side like poppy's ride or like for dad's for dad for his christmas my dad has a wood burning a, a, a wood woodworking that he does and he made him a little it's not a business logo but it's what we would consider a business logo it's just his little when he does something and makes a gift it's usually got piddling putts piddling putman's 
let little stamp on there. So, okay. I have to hold this where I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'm going just around that black outline that we got and kind of smoothing up that edge just a little bit. And again, some of my lines are not as smooth as they would be if I were holding it in a comfortable for me to paint position. So you'll have to give me a little grace there, y'all. For me to show you what I'm doing and not be like dropping it down here where y'all can't see nothing. Okay, every time you turn around. Okay. I gotta get a little bit more of that blue. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna touch up just this edge here. I need to just smooth out that window seal just a little bit. That, I was holding it at a funny angle, is driving me. Yeah, I gotta fix it. All right. So now. We have silver everywhere where we need silver. We need a tiny bit of yellow. We need some gold. And I typically use the 24 karat gold. This is an extreme sheen one. I'm gonna mix the two together. Mix a little of the yellow with some of the gold for my headlights, for my head, front headlights. You don't want it necessarily like gold gold, but you want it to have that metallic reflective color to it. And so we are so close y'all to done. I'm going to kind of roll my brush to get some of that extra off of it. I also need to make that make it kind of sloppy. Again, I'm trying to do this where y'all can see. We're just gently going around inside that little circle there. I'm going to have to turn it so I can see y'all. I'm fine. I hope y'all can sort of see what I'm doing. I to get some of that out of that brush. It just seems like there's way too much up in there.
just about used all that I had mixed up. So I'm trying to grab a little bit. It doesn't want to just easily swipe on there. It is the regular paint mix with some of the metallics. And because it is such a small little area, you can't just freely go, here you go. And just whack it around with your, whack it around, slap it around with your, your brush. You've got to be careful or it's going to get everywhere. And then it doesn't look so pretty. All right. Can you see them? There we go. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of it in these little lights right here. All right, we are like so super close. I have tail lights, which I didn't grab the red for. I don't know why, but I didn't. So I'm gonna grab the red. I'm going to, I'm grabbing a little metallic to add in with this. But normally I'm just using a plain red. But today I feel like trying this. So we're going to try this. Whoops. Got paint all over. Oh. I think it was sitting upside down on the shelf. So I'm going to mix the two together real quick. We're going to roll the brush and get as much of it out as we can. And Okay, I gotta turn this where I can see it a little better. Let's see if you guys can watch me do it from here. Let me lean this way. <laughs> I'm just kind of floating it in there and hoping I'm not messing up my headlights right now. I really am. I just thought about where I was sticking that. I'm holding it against me. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. I did get. One of them. The headlight tail lights are done. Yay! I somehow got a purple mess all over everywhere. Or a red mess. Sorry, not purple. I'm gonna fix this front light. I kind of messed up. I stuck it on my shirt. On my apron, actually. Thankfully, I'm wearing my apron today. A lot of times I don't remember to put it on, so I end up with paint all over my shirt. I just laugh and say, well, you can't be a real artist if, it's not, if you're not wearing it in your clothes, you know, because. I 
have a hair trig on it. Pet ownership is such a joy. Dog hair everywhere. All right, so I'm going to rinse the liner brush off. We are done with it. We are going to get that one rinsed off. I will rinse. I'm going to rinse these out real quick so that I have them ready. Hey, Tammy. I was working on a truck to hold some of my eggs that we made. They're all just sitting there, and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with them? I ain't got nothing to put them in that looks cute, so to do something so I'm doing me a, a truck today and okay I'm gonna get this little liner brush again and I'm gonna get the white and I'm gonna go around those tires it's way more white than I need but we will do it okay this little rim right here Okay, I can't see that, y'all. my daughter's dog just realized my husband's on the porch she doesn't know it's my husband better she's telling him hey rescue me take me outside with you all right hopefully you can see what i'm doing you see there you see how there's a ring around the ramp the here's our, our hubcap and then there's a ring right in there right there i'm painting that white I'm painting that white. I'm white rimming my tires because back in the day that was that was the thing. Those were how you bought the tires. Those were the kind of tires you bought. White wall tires. Tell me how are mom and dad doing today? I know it's been a real long week for all of y'all. I'm sorry, I have to get this where I can see it. This is delicate work. I need to get a camera stand. Tammy's got that goes straight over me. What I can do from straight over me. All right, see, there's that one done. And then there's both of them. Now we just got to get these two. And then whatever we might want to add to the door. Oh, I didn't get my handles. Well, hey, ding dong, got to get the handles. Note to self, just do not grab the tires. All right. Did these with the silver earlier by accident. Because I was coloring the wrong thing. Whoop. 
what sounds funny that you just got them in bed for the night you just took the kiddos in bed for the night well i'm sure it does sound funny maybe someday i'll experience that you are an awesome daughter tammy i'm just gonna say it if they don't say it anytime soon no, your mom probably won't because she's not. She's struggling with her own battles, but you are an amazing daughter and an amazing example to your kids. So, you had a child putting the parents to bed. Yeah. I figured it out after I asked, what sounds funny? And it was like, oh, duh. Hate to guys, but I had to move this where I could see to do it, and I don't know that there's an angle that I can get at with my current camera hand. So, <laughs> everybody does, Tammy. Everybody does, but you do a lot. You do a lot important to to be able to be there for them when you can and your kids are seeing you do it and they're seeing that you don't just walk a walk and then talk a different talk or vice versa okay so, I still messed up them stupid lights at the front. Okay, so if I wasn't holding this funny so that you, I could show it to y'all, I probably wouldn't have messed up my headlights, but I messed my headlights up, so I'll be fixing them shortly. Oh, okay, let me make sure I've got everything off of me now before I touch it again and mess it all up. Okay, all four tires are done. If you want to put wording or anything on there, now would be the time that you would do it. I'm going to get some silver. Actually, I'm going to get a wipe. And wipe any of the yellow off that I can get off. Thankfully, it's just this one side. So I'm going to hit the front bumper and fix that. I'm going to hit the teal around that. Rinse that out. Now I'm going to grab my yellow and gold mix. I'm going to hold my plate still again. I'm going to take this flat brush and try and get in here and hit it. Let's see what we can do. It doesn't look bad where I smushed it. I actually kind of like that look to it. Looks kind of more of the gold than it was the yellow in there. Didn't look like they were so on, if that makes sense. The lights weren't so. Okay, and now I gotta hit this little bitty one over here. Oh, 
All right. Door handles, and I'm done. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. I think it took me a little longer to do this because I kept trying to hold it where, where I could show people, and it's like, yeah, that's not... That's not working really fast. So I'm going to hit this handle. There's a little raised spot right here for the handle. I'm just going to hit it. A little flat brush that away. Going to come over here and hit this one. If you have touched anything with one of the other colors, smushed and smeared a little bit somewhere now is your time to let it dry and then hit it i'm going to hit this one tire real quick because i see where i never covered up very good on that back tire after i added some green some teal to my truck and i'm going to hit this one over here with the silver i bumped All right. Okay, the only other thing that I'm going to tell you I would do, other than maybe write your name or or if you wanted a little bunny on it, because it's going to be your Easter truck, because like I'm one that I want it to set out all the time, because I like to just change out some of it, not all of it. If I put this much work into this truck, I want this truck sitting out all year long. So I would probably put Pat in place or uh, Escape in Pain or something cutesy on the door like that. And uh, when it's not a seasonal, seasonal thing, I, instead of putting Easter eggs in the back, I could put uh, paint supply looking stuff and have it sitting in here in my studio and being all cutesy or whatever. Um, put a snowman in the back of it for January. Hearts and candies in the back for valentine's shamrocks for march or again like i said if you're not wanting to change it out for the hallmark holidays you could always put your use it as a standard candy dish i have been known to do that you can I, it actually kind of makes a decent pen holder if you got it on your desk there was one more thing i was fixing to do what was it there's one last thing what is it steph come on Oh, take some white. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to clean this brush off, and I'm going to get my little liner brush. I'm going to get a little bit of the white. I don't want a lot of white. I mean, I want a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit of white. Hang on, let me see if that'll... There you go, see? It's not much white at all. And we're going to add some... little streaks here like the sun's hitting our windshield we're gonna get just a little bit more we're gonna do the back same thing on the very back on our back window almost like it's too bright to see in we can do the same on these windows that just gives it a little bit of a sunshiny reflection if you do too much you can always take and go over it with your blue and do it again if you don't think you've done enough you could always add a little more I try to not do too thick a one if this is thicker than I want, especially that close to the other one. So if you do that, you can always grab a wipe. And kind of come back and smear it some. And even if it doesn't all come off, it does smear it down to a, little, a lot thinner. But that's why I say get very little 
and thin it out because then you've got maybe one thicker, brighter streak, but not so much. All right. I think that's it. And I will get my, I will let y'all get on with your day. Thanks for coming and hanging out. And let me know if y'all want me to paint a truck for you or if you're interested in truck. And we will go from there. All right, guys, I'm checking out.